Hey there, I'm Jalapeno, and today we're going to learn about version control on Roblox. Version control is when you keep track and manage changes to all of your files, and Roblox gives you three primary ways to do this. Place versions, packages, and script history. Place version history always allows you to revert back to a previous version of your experience if you need to. To do this, start by navigating to File, then Game Settings, click on the Places tab, and you will see all places that are currently part of this experience, as well as their current version. If you click the three dots, you'll see version history on the drop-down menu. You will then get a list of all versions of this place, the date and time they were committed, and if it was published or not. Don't be surprised that this list is long. Roblox autosaves pretty often. Once you find the version you're looking for, you can click on it, and then click Open, and a new studio window will appear of that place version. From there, you can grab what you need and copy it over to the current version, or navigate back to File and use Publish to Roblox As to upload the place as a new experience, or republish over the existing one. Remember though, you and any collaborators must close the studio instance of the existing place in order to publish over it. Packages make the overall process of building worlds faster, allowing you to update all copies of an asset even across multiple projects and experiences. In order to convert an object into a package, right-click on it in Explorer and click Convert to Package. Then name it and publish it to Roblox, either owned by yourself or your development group if you're working with a team. Now you will see the model has a package link, and if we look in Properties, it'll tell us a few important things about this package, such as if it will auto-update or not, the default name of the model, its package ID on Roblox, the current status of the package, and its version number. Let's quickly duplicate this so we can dive even deeper. When you make a change to a package in your viewport, you will see a pop-up that warns you modifying packages will disable auto-update until you publish or revert the changes. This prevents your package from changing while you're working on it, just in case someone else makes a change to a package elsewhere. You can either revert the change or click OK. Now you will see a little yellow dot above the link in Explorer. This tells you that the package has unpublished changes. However, our second package remains completely unchanged. When you're ready to publish your changes, you can right-click on the link in Explorer and publish the package. Our second model is still unchanged though, but you may have noticed it now has a download arrow instead of a link. This tells us that it isn't on the latest version. If we had auto-update turned on, it would have changed by itself, but since we don't, let's right-click on it and click Get Latest Package. This will now update this one model, but we can also click Package Options and click Update All to update every version of this package in this place and even other places within the experience. Now what if we don't like the current version? How do we go back to the old one? Well first of all, you can right click on the package, go back to Package Options, and hit Compare Versions to find the exact one you liked both through a visual overview and the Properties window. Once you find it, take note of the version number it is, then you can go back to the package link in Explorer, and if you remember from early in the video, we saw a property called version number. Change this number to the one you just found and click continue on the pop-up. Now your package is back to that version. If you want to then update all of your packages to this one, you can either go through all of their links and change the version, or refollow the steps to publish it and update all once again. Now, if you decide an asset is perfect and you don't want to risk any changes to it in the future, you can simply delete the package link and it'll turn back into being a regular model with whatever the current version you had set. Script history allows you to see who made changes to your scripts, when they did it, how many scripts are in the batch, and also allows you to view them and compare previous versions. To see a script's history, you can right click on it in Explorer, then click the script history button on the drop down menu. This will open a window with all of the versions of the script in your place. And if you're looking for a specific script, you can click the Show button under the Scripts and Batch column to find it. Once you find the script you're looking for, you can either open it or compare it. If you open an outdated version, it'll be in read-only mode to prevent confusion and losing work. If you compare versions, it'll show all lines added with a green highlight and a plus symbol, and the lines removed with a red highlight and a minus symbol. You'll also be able to see the line numbers of the two scripts to directly compare them. If you'd like to utilize an older version of the script, you'll have to open it in read-only mode, copy the lines you wish to use, and paste them into the current version of the script. Now that you know how to handle version control across your projects, check out another video to learn more about how to create on Roblox.